Alrighty, thank you for tuning back in. We are now joined by Angie with the Quero Chamber of Congress. Congress. <laughs> well, Angie, thank you so much for being here with us today. You know, after two years of COVID, all these contactless activities, people are ready to get back into the festivities. So what does Quero have for us? Oh, Quero has a full season of Christmas activities. So tonight is actually our opening night of Christmas in the park, and it's been okay. going for 22 years. Oh, it's a tradition. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Yes. So you have these little pamphlets here that you want to talk about, right? Some events yes. for us. Yeah. yeah go ahead. Tell so, me all about it. So tonight it's our opening night of Christmas in the park, and we have over 250 lighted scenes. Um, we get over 100,000 visitors a year to come through the park. It starts tonight, and it goes through New Year's Day. It's open nightly from 6 to 10. Um, it is free entry. We just collect donations at the end, which goes back into creating the Christmas experience every year for us. So this year, one of our new scenes that we have up is a beautiful archway that people will enjoy. And then um, they always have fun finding what new ones are out there too as well. Okay. But this is our, our DeWitt County um, Christmas brochure. And so not only in Quero, but throughout DeWitt County, Yoakum, Yorktown, Nordheim, um, we have uh, Christmas festivities. So people can pick up one of these brochures from the Chamber of Commerce or from one of the local museums and they can check out all of the festivities that we have throughout DeWitt County. Gotcha, which one are you most excited for? Oh, well, Christmas in the Park, of course, is my favorite. I love working mm -hmm. the gates and seeing all the fun uh, festivities that come through and the families get excited about our lights and watching the kids show up. Sometimes they come out in their jammies and they drive through the park and Christmas music is playing. So, oh, it's just so much that. fun. Yeah. And then my second favorite is probably Christmas in downtown. I don't know, they're equal tie, but that's uh, Christmas in downtown starts the second weekend in December. And our downtown our historical downtown district just turns into like a Hallmark movie. We've oh. got lights and uh, 30 foot Christmas tree. We have artificial skating rink. We have horse There's and carriage. There's a skating rink. Yes. Oh, that sounds so much fun. I need yes. to go. And then we have a horse and carriage rides. And this, this year they'll be on Friday and Saturday. It kicks off December 9th and 10th. Um, there's late night shopping and we have a special um, area for teens this year too. And we'll have actually, we'll have an escape room come, a mobile escape room for oh, them fun. to participate in. So it's so much fun. We also have the um, uh, artisan market as well. So where we'll have home craft items and things that people can buy and we'll have food vendors and lots of sweets and treats and of Santa, of course. Of course. <laughs> but our Main Street director, uh, Sandra Osman does a wonderful job with her promotions committee getting that together okay. for us every it year. It sounds all very festive, all very yes. Christmassy. I'm excited to be there. So I also heard that you guys are planning a Quero 150 year ce celebration, is that correct, for 2023? Yes, so in 2023, Quero will turn 150 years. Ooh. And so we have some um, different activities throughout the year that we'll be doing that. March 25th will be a, a big weekend event, but we'll kick off some days um, commemorating the 150 years each month starting in February. Gotcha, what can we expect for those events? Um, well, um, on uh, Saturday the 25th, we'll have some live music. I can't announce entertainment just yet until we get okay, all of okay, that gotcha. settled. But there will be a free dance that evening, um, as well as the farmer's market that day. Um, there'll be uh, all kinds of different things just commemorating the gear, so. Yes. All righty. Well, Angie, thank you so much. I think we covered all our Quero bases. It sounds like this is where I need to be yes. during the festivities. And make sure if you need to get your last minute Christmas shopping, we have what we call Santa's Last Shot Shopping Event. Okay. And that is held um, December Tuesday, December 20th. And we have late night shopping. And we also have the 5D Tavern that comes down. And we have a sweet surprise on Main Street that night as well. And that's on the 20th. That's on the 20th. Uh huh. And that's perfect from, for me. Yes. Because I'm always last minute shopping and for all my relatives. The store will be open until 8 p.m. that night. Oh, perfect. And it's so much fun, and, and Main Street's closed, so you can enjoy just shopping down there and, and All righty. refreshments. Absolutely. Well, Angie, thank you so much for being with us. I appreciate your time. And stay with us. 25 News anchor Carolina Astrain is next in the Art League and their Christmas Bazaar this year.